What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another Vintage Cubums. Must take any card in the pack that generates tokens or utilizes tokens. Or draft a multicolor card if able. If there are no multicolor cards, you can draft any card. Let's try the token one because we have no multicolor cards except for this guy. And this guy's pretty good with tokens. So let's just take the tokens. I think. Thank That'll be you. past the Mox Diamond, but... Eh. Sliverlord, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. You make tokens. You make a token. Mm -hmm. <coughs> stop, just stop it. So does Angel of Invention. That's what I said. That was my first. I said oh. you make tokens, and then you make a token. Well, I think chicken's a stronger card. I think white is probably better for the token deck. That's true, actually. I don't think we're going to find any other token cards in the red. Those are like Young Peasy. <laughs> okay, so two cards in red. Yeah. That's all you need. Huh. I think we just take this guy. We're doing tokens, guys. All right. Two vetoes. We get two vetoes. Also exceptions for power and fixing. Two vetoes. Uh, Ophiomancer makes some tokens. Garrick makes tokens. So does Ornco. That's true, actually. Ah! <clears throat> like usually if they can't bounce that guy he's pretty dominant I do kind of like that also I mean, he's open right but I'm pretty sure we're going to be green <clears throat> right? true like I mean I, I kind of want to lock us the, into green almost because of tokens group might be better then because like untapping two lands is usually pretty strong <sighs> but warm coil is so good by itself oh my god Katie did you say hi in chat group my table hi boys oh wow so nice table to read all the cards <laughs> welcome back Katie has your internet been better since you did your little reset fix this morning what are you saying what, is you, what are you saying I think Garuk might be better. Also, black-white's definitely a thing. Black-white's definitely a thing? Yeah, black-white tokies. There's a lot of cards in black and white that make tokens. I think Garrick is better. Also, black-white tokens is a thing. I'm just saying that's another way we It feels it. like you were defending both of the choices, <laughs> though, there. So I was like, wait, but... Katie, do a speed test. Did you ever read that fanfic? No, dude, but it's literally on my desktop right now. Hold on. Close this. Open you. <coughs> is this it? I think this is it. Yeah. Is it the, the gangplank swayed and creaked under the boys' worn boot soles? Oh, jeez. It's getting <laughs> real in depth. Hold on. Let me close this. <gasps> Can you just stop it? You're being a ridiculous child. Biogenic has got tokens. Spectral yeah. Procession got tokens. I think as far as cards go, I think Biogen is just better. Uh, Yeah, it's more expensive, but I think it's better. Also, Triple White can be wrong. Yeah, but like, I mean, this is usually just as expensive. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I just have to wait for Magic Online to quit automatically uh, zooming in. There we go. All right, now I'll take the ooze. Tokens, 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 tokens. No tokens. Mm -hmm. Well, technically, Kiki Jiki, but does that count? <clears throat> Oh, that creates tokens. It sure does. It sure does. Uh, <coughs> I don't know if we want those colors, though. I don't think we want the key jiggy either. I mean, though. we could put this on the board. Play Sultai tokens, boys. Yeah, Scarab God is good enough to make tokens. It's also only like... It's a very easy splash. Nah, it's still horrid. Dang it, Katie. Yeah, Katie, I think I think when you moved into this house, your biggest misplay was just going with Century Link Instead of calling up xfinity and being like are they called xfinity or are they called comcast <clears throat> i don't even know comcast owns xfinity I well guess. right xfinity was like the service they provide but i'm not sure if they just go by xfinity now uh some kind of brand thing to make you trick to see like there's two brands but it's all really the same company what did you just say <clears throat> shut up man Uh, token, 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 token. Nothing token. makes tokens. Nothing's making tokens. So, strongest card is probably Leovold yeah. in a nutshell. And we're in those colors theoretically. What's the path if we wanted to stay white? Bolus makes tokens if you have Garrick out. You know what? That's not incorrect. But I don't know if that's enough. I mean, four of our five cards in the main deck right now make tokens. So. I'm doing what we I'm doing what we can here, guys. <clears throat> doing the Lord's work. 
it's this is the work of Jesus. Did you see they arrested a, a mega church pastor in Tampa uh, for still holding, like it was either fifty or five hundred person. I think it was fifty. Fifty person uh, like hear services. That, yeah. I'm like fuck that <clears throat> dude. File my tax day. That was fun. I did the same. It depends on. You guys how much have money you make if you can get money back. Well, yeah, it depends. That's how fun it is. <clears throat> if you get money back, it's real cool. If you don't, it's like, eh. You're like, oh, Katie got like money back. I don't want to say how much, but. Yeah, she generally don't want to. She do was that. like, hey, I got this much money. And I was like, must be nice. I had to pay them. I had to pay this year? I have to pay most years because I. Didn't you have one year where you got it back? Yeah. Just depends. None of these cards make tokens, man. Uh, no. So, is there a duel for us? Not really. Um. Pretty sure Steed's decent if we get a bunch of Planeswalkers. I'll take the deed. Yeah, it's probably the strongest card in the pack. Nothing make token here. Nothing make token here. <laughs> uh. Mike, no light card, no make token here. No fixing either, which is rough. I like Triumph. It's fine. Sex creature, and then what happens? That's it. If you control Liliana, they sack. I did also discard a card. Okay. It's playable, I guess. I got money back. Just annoying doing it. I don't know, man. Taxes took me like twenty-five minutes, maybe. Yeah, if you only have like one source of income, like if you have one job that you're like only one W two, I guess I should say. I guess it depends on how many like different jobs you have. It, it or, really shouldn't take that or long. Or weird exceptions. I'm get Den Protector. Um, Nothing makes tokens. I think Dragon Protector is pretty fine. Sure. It's decent. Actually, we probably should have taken go for the throat. Mine took like three hours. Yeah, Katie. <clears> yeah, <throat> yeah, I can. You also have student loans that you got to like incorporate and things like that. Yeah, if you pay student loans back, you got to take that into account and... Taxes take me forever because my wife is technically self-employed because she's a subcontractor. Oh, yeah. That'll take a while. I am self-employed and I have like five sources of income that I have to... I, and plus like a bunch of deductions. So it probably takes a while. I have a home office that I have to include with like the square footage and like... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Ophiomancer came back. That's a good one. Yeah, because they give you a discount on your home office costs. So I'm like, this much square footage is dedicated to a home office and... Uh, this is what my utility bills are, and this is what my rent is, and stuff like that. Hey, man, what's your square footage like looking like these days? Uh, excuse me, that's private, okay? <laughs> Don't ask another man how his square footage is holding up. Not a bad lady pick. No, that's fine. <coughs> I put that in my two drops. Can you be quiet, Michael? No. Unbelievably it's a rude. Stream. I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to talk. That's how it works. Do you think coughing is the same as talking? Yeah. No. Yeah, good. Wow, so that's the trophy and Heroes Downfall came back? I think trophy's better. Yeah, I agree. Especially in this crazy format. No one has the Rona. Joking about coronavirus is not as funny as people think it is. No, it's pretty serious. <clears throat> oh, I'm thinking Kaya. All right, not a bad, not a bad pack one. I don't think, as far as tokens go, I feel like we. Oh, oh boy. How many token makers? Yeah, hey, we get two vetoes. So I'd probably pick Geist it anyway. Makes tokens. Liliana makes tokens. Legion's landing makes tokens. Have, and I'd see either one of these two for sure. Um. Katie is a manager and a primeval titan. Double blue might be pretty rough for us. We have no fixing so far. Guys, I want you all to wish Mike be a very happy birthday today. Well, it's my actual birthday after midnight. Sure it is, Michael. Case is prime time. What do you think? I actually agree with that because I think managing might be actually pretty hard. For I was thinking cast. double blue is going to be rough. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That'll be one of our vetoes, I think. I think prime time is good enough to veto. So I got one veto down. And you fixing bad, homie. Avenger of Zendikar's tokens. Yep. We do need fixing, but one problem with this vintage cube, this go around, is that the just doesn't exist. So, <laughs> sorry guys. What are you doing? You picking your teeth out? Yeah. Michael actually wears dentures, so sometimes he tries to loosen them and put them back in. Yeah, but they're made of steel. Yeah, he's got it's like jaws from from uh, 
That's why I eat so fast. James Bond. Why, why do you eat so fast? No, that's how you eat. Why? I, I was asking for the reason. Because the steel teeth. They, they. What do they do? How do they help you? They're mechanical. Oh, wow. That's crazy, dude. Garrick makes tokens. Yep, and still no fixing for us. Right, like I'm gonna Ugh. I'm gonna snap pick any sort of like any sort of dual land at all. I like that Garrick too. I think he's good. I do too. Getting your planeswalker then you just kill something is usually pretty good. <clears throat> Tell me more, Michael. Tell me the story of your planeswalker people. We don't even have any ramp creatures, which is super weird. Be careful using the C word. I heard YouTube don't monetize videos for it. Um, yeah, I've heard that the C virus can technically do that. I don't know how true that is, but really, mm -hmm. that seems yeah. weird. That's why the big two YouTubers won't call it by name. What? Yeah, that doesn't even make any sense. I'm gonna take opposition. Uh. We're a token deck. I'm just checking the record of the pack. The record of the pack. Search. Pack makes tokens. Search for tomorrow. But we really need a search. It might be it's marsh flats. Oh, uh, no, we have nothing to get with it, and we're not playing white. Well, we so. got a whole other pack, though. So any green, any black fetch land is. <clears throat> also, that saves us from vetoing. Yeah, pack that's right. Because I, I don't want to use search for a veto, wheel. right? Wait, does it say fixing or does it say lands? Exceptions for power and fixing. So technically, search tomorrow we probably could have taken as well. Oh, search might have been better. It's close. Hey man, look at the sweet flash. Flash is like my favorite DC dude. That's pretty sick. What do we got here? This guy makes tokens. Yeah, clue tokens. That counts. Otherwise, we could take, like, Devoted Druid, but... <laughs> also, wouldn't mind taking a Duress here. Duress? Mm -hmm. I think the card's pretty strong in this cube. How much that guy run for? Not bad, actually. Five ninety nine Singapore. So probably like four fifty US. Four twenty. Blaze, Blaze it! <laughs> oh Jesus! That's actually not that much for like a big statue. Tristani makes tokens. Not that I'm gonna spend four hundred twenty dollars right. on a statue, but Beast if I did, makes tokens. Technically, Green Sun Zenith makes tokens because it because it can get any of kinda, these. It's kind of like I don't know. I don't know, man. That seems <clears throat> that seems decent. Green Sun Zenith is pretty good for us too. It gets a Leovold even. Oh, it does get a Leovold or a Trigon Predator. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're taking that. That's a token. Or Prime Time or a Zendikar. Hmm. I'm just thinking Recurring Nightmare, I guess. Yeah, I don't think we're playing it, but. See, why couldn't that have been an on-color duel there? I don't know, man. Instead, it's a stupid-ass scrub land. I mean, it's looking pretty rough. Woodfall Primus. Oh, this makes fucking tokens. So, so does Legion's, Legion's Landing. Landing. Jinx, Michael! Do you want to use a veto on Primus, though? Not really. We have a lot of high-end stuff. Yeah, I'll just take one so. of these stupid cards. Oh, Abyssin's Pilgrim. Brimaz. Mm, Brimaz makes tokens. Yep. It was Lana or Ruff. Maybe we would take Lingering it. Souls. Dang it. Yep. Eh, I'll take a Goddess Shrine. <clears throat> Maybe we can splash Lingering Souls. That's what I'm thinking. Like, oh, Packrat came back. It's totally fine. All right. Skull Clamp makes honorary tokens? What does that mean? I don't think so. Do you mean it kills tokens? Because. Oh, shit. What up? It's Kerwit. Oh, what up, Kr 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 Wit? That did super Fritz. Oh, that makes tokens too. We can splash all these white cards. <laughs> then we got this Marsh Flats and this Godless Shrine. The white cards didn't seem that great, still though. If this pack is nothing but lands, I would be just immensely happy. 
I mean, we need like a couple playables, but I want six lands. Because I'll toss Lingering Souls and Tristani in the deck if we can get some playables. Angel's a little suspect with double white. <clears throat> Crit Wit. Mind Twist. I'm actually tempted to take a buy over Mind Twist. As much as Mind Twist is real good, we really need fixing. So I actually agree with that. Can I get a Bayou versus Mind Twist in the chat? You think Mind Twist will wheel? I don't. I don't think so. I think there's no way you can take Mind Twist here. I it agree is super, with you. It is just irresponsible. Buy you, buy you, twist, buy you, twist, buy you. Yep, I would say buy you. It is super irresponsible. <clears throat> Katie, you said twist? Oh my god, you are a maniac. We have to cut a, oh, Misty. Oh, yes. That's what. That's oh, what yes, works. that's what falls. open a wheel. Uh, do me your signet. Or Whisperwood would Whisper be fine. Yeah, I like Whisperwood. We're doing Cradle it. Wheel? I don't even know if we can I don't play Yeah, I don't even think we're a great Cradle deck, to be honest no. with you. <clears throat> you will not wheel signet. Listen, I don't need your negativity. Get your, have happened. get your negativity out of my life. I saw a third pick soul ring on that stream earlier, so you never know. Jesus. Katie, can you please answer my messages? Unbelievable. Got him. Fucking got him. I'm playing Adam. Wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Katie messages me. She's like, today I got a new neighbor, Sydney. And I'm like, oh, really? Like, is that a dog? No, you, she means an animal crossing. Yeah, she means an animal crossing. Okay, so what are our picks here? What makes tokens? I, I think <clears throat> nothing. Literally nothing in this pack. So I'm just going to take Rex Sage. Yep. I don't waste that deck, so. Because I mean, shoulders a little expensive. We have two. We have two seven drops already. Yeah. Plus, like I've never been, never been disappointed about a Rex Sage. You will not make this putt, jackass. You know what I that's from? That one. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> that is elite treachery. That is double blue though. Anything oh, make I mean, oppositions are double blue. Oracle. No, well. there's nothing. This is a. F oh, this guy does make a token. Shit. I think we veto here. Treachery or Oracle seems way strong. Yeah. I think it's worth it. I agree. Plus, we're in the third pack, so. But is it Oracle or Treachery? <sighs> Treachery's real strong. I think it's Treachery, dude. <laughs> Did you. Yeah, I didn't trick Treachery. I just feel better about it. Uh, that's Sword of Feast. I was pretty sure that was Sword of Feast and Famine. I don't think that one makes tokens, my dude. Katie said treachery. Perfect. Treachery can it not only enchant tokens, Chris, it can also take creatures that make tokens. So technically so it's basically a token. It's it's an is. it could be an honorary token for sure. Doesn't matter, we used a veto on you it. Can, so. You can take your own can you take your own stuff with treachery? Yes, of course. This was way back before it says opponent, so you can do your own things. Whereas like nowadays modern modern cards just say destroy permanent and opponent controls. Yeah, so you can't trophy to get a land if you need it. Yeah, whereas back in the day it was like, just destroy any artifact and enchantment you want. Knock yourself out. Oh, that makes tokens. It's a real solid pickup. Yeah. That's... I think the only downside to our deck so far is it's kind of fair, but... Opposition and treachery, Michael? What a dumb... What an absolute... I think treachery is fair enough in this cube. Opposition isn't fair. Oh, Muffin Muffin said Skullclamp abuses tokens. So yeah, I think the Skullclamp would have been actually pretty good now that I'm... It's a late workshop. Uh... No, we're just taking Water Grave. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I like Master of the Wild Hunt, but... Thank you! Gotta take that Grave. Chief Fuck, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. We really appreciate it, my dude. Finally, watch my step on YouTube after seeing how it worked. It would have been better as play X amount of Banner Street. Yes! TIE Fighter, I think the problem uh, that we found was that, like, I just... We really underestimated how many banner restricted cards. Underground C. Wow, that is a real nice pickup. Also, Misty and Marsh Flats can get these. Yeah, man is actually looking kind of okay now. Like even in, in Tie Fighter, even in the YouTube comments, like people were like, 
you you definitely missed these, but I don't blame you. You know, like oh, there's some like we missed. Yeah, there were definitely some like <clears throat> um some tokens that we just missed, or not so tokens. Goodness, <laughs> some banner restricted. Maze of Ith was banner restricted at one point. Oh, so there's a Dark Slick Shores. But there's also a Choop. Probably just had the, the Shores, right? Muffin of Doom, is this your Stip? <laughs> I didn't actually put that together because I don't think you messaged me as Muffin of Doom. You think Shores? <coughs> I think Shores. I, I think, think we, we have, have to take it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Oh, man. Muffin of Doom. That's awesome, dude. I had That's so funny because I actually didn't even know. What about an unvintage draft where you take can't take cards that were ever banned or restricted? Um, that's just going to make your deck kind of weak. Because if you can't take power, like, maybe in, like, a, I don't know. Just not being able to take power seems like a real bad play. Oh, you also said this is my step if you have any questions. So, uh, that checks out. No, no, no. Oh, this jerk makes tokens. We've already used our vetoes, haven't we? Yeah, I would have taken this Gonti for yeah, sure. Yeah, Gonti would have been nice. Um... Well, if you play it off balls, it all begs the token. <laughs> also, it's triple black, so it's kind of rough. Anyway, I wish we could take on to here, but eh, whatever. Stip's a stip. Oh, all right. Whisperwood. Yeah. Gonti can make tokens if you're lucky. That's true. <clears throat> I feel like we're really stretching it at that point, though. You know, Gonti can... Uh... In some other universe, Gonti made a token. Actually, Citadel does abuse tokens. If we have, like, 10 tokens, we can sack them for 10 damage. Yeah, but I, that's still not the... The step is makes tokens, right? Like, No, or abuses. Literally, must take any card in the bank that generates or utilizes tokens. Oh. Hmm. That's why I took opposition. Michael okay. doesn't even know the step, and we're in pack three. We're on, like, pick 70, 72 in pack three. Yeah, who needs to know things? So, oh, I'd like to see an alphabet step. Your deck can only play two cards that begin with the same letter, lands, and power not include. See, that actually seems decent. See, the other alphabet step is, like, you have to pick an A card, then a B card. Because that's just, like... <laughs> Not only is most of your time spent just, like, looking over the pack to see, like, you're, like, A, B, um, but also, like, you, you're not even choosing anything. You know what I mean? Like. I think Rigo is playable. I'm kind of short on playables, so. Yeah, I agree. Well, I was going to splash some white cards, because now we have Godless Shrine and Marsh Flats. Yeah, but I don't know if we want to make a mana I'll bring that much worse. I think Pilgrim's is fine. Yeah, but I don't know if we want to make our mana that much worse, said Michael B., Oh, wow, Master came back. That's pretty cool. I'll just play like this. Vivian Reed. That's not Vivian Reed. Vivian Reed is a five-mana Planeswalker. That's Vivian of the Wilds. <laughs> That's not Vivian of the Wilds either. It's Vivian Champion of the Thank Wilds. He yeah, doesn't know anything. I think we just played as is. You don't like Lingering Souls in here? Everything is terrible. I could have sworn <clears throat> I just did this the other day, but uh, sure. Hey, man, I'll take it. You resub as much as you want every week. I'm totally fine with it. Recurring Nightmare Souls worth it though? Is recurring Nightmare worth it? Like this is the token deck, right? Like, yeah, but we're not really getting anything back busted, right? I mean, Battle Sphere, Avenger, Primeval Titan, Biogenic Ooze, Whisper. I mean, like it doesn't matter if it's busted. Like, plus, like just being able to recur like um, Rex Sage or Shriek Ma or something is pretty good. Mm. It wouldn't be a stip if Mike B knew what it was. <laughs> That sounds more like a Rob quality than a Mike quality, though. We're running four blue cards. Would it make mm -hmm. sense to cut blue? I think opposition is, and treachery are strong enough to where it's worth it. Plus, we have I, a bunch of blue. Yeah, blues. all of our fixing is blue. Yeah, Dark so. Slick Shores, uh, Misty, Underground, Water Grave, and Marsh Flats can all get blue sources. Yeah, I think the blue is actually pretty free. Plus, I don't really want to cut Leovold. I think Leovold is very, very strong. Kurt, you need to describe this double deck stipulation mm -hmm. to me again because I, you were losing me in, in on Messenger the other day. You should do a cute card stip. Take the cutest card. I think you and I should do that uh, when we're when we're together, because I think us trying to figure out what the cutest card would be would be hilarious. I mean, so here's the thing: we could play God and Shine and, Fla and Marsh Flats, right? And I don't care. I'm, I'm more on a, I'm more on a recurring nightmare right now. I don't care okay. about lingering souls. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think the white's worth it, but. What's the cute, cutest card in all of MTG? That's actually a really good question. Oh, it's like one of the bear cards. Hold on. I'm going to find it right now. And I'm going to show you guys. And you guys are going to be like, fuck, he's right. 
That is the cutest motherfucking card in Magic the Gathering. Nobody say it. You guys are going to say it in the chat. You guys are going to be like, this is what you're looking for. It's Bear Cub. I don't even think it's close. I'm sure there's other cards that are cute. But that one's pretty good. Cuter than this? Also, the art's actually really good. I really like that art. He says actually as if it's surprised. <laughs> and he's like, it's art. actually pretty good. This is the funniest art in Magic. I this think. is, yeah. And here's my funniest art. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, bear. We're gonna need you to. We're gonna need you to put your arm, put your hands above your head, bear. Oh. Oh, Fabloop is pretty cute too. But I think it, I don't think it's like. Fabloop is like comically cute. Like this bear is just like naturally cute. I think. So what are we cutting for nightmare? I don't know, man. Predator. Oh, we can cut Den Protector. Uh. If it was Eternal Witness, I wouldn't. But I think Den Protector is not that great. Plus, like, we could just get stuff Pretty back. good with Recurring Nightmare, though. Den Protector? Yeah. Why? It's like it's a, it's like a long game. I guess Regrowth would just be better if you really It's a it. long game. Long game in the city. All right, so what are we doing here, Michael? Sort by the color ice. Very, very green. We have no power whatsoever. <coughs> we didn't really pass anything except for Mind Twist. We got one, two, three, so nine sources of green. Sure. All right. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seems fine. Blue, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight, nine? Yeah, all right. Yeah, I think that's actually perfect. I wish we didn't have as many forests because it makes like things like Leovold harder to cast. Yeah, what are you going to do? Um. So I think Mind Twist is, is secondary power for sure. Uh, Kind of like Soul Ring or Mana Crypt, you know what I mean? It's a very powerful card. Like, it's definitely a card that you can cast and just the game's over. Game over, man. Game over. Remember that? You know what that's from, Michael? Name that movie. Uh, The second Alien movie? Wow, that's really good. I don't remember. Is it Aliens? It's Aliens, yeah. They yeah. just added an S. Yeah. It's both, it's, both the most, it's both the most lazy and the most elegant sequel name ever. You know, I don't think there's an Alien movie that I've seen I didn't like. Even the recent ones. I, I like the recent ones a lot. I think oh, it's Alien, really cool how they Alien explore the... Alien 3 was a little rough. That's what I've heard. That's I haven't actually seen yeah, the third one. It? No, it's Re is that Resurrection? Um, Alien... That might be the name of it. Or is it just Alien 3? It might just be Alien know. 3, actually. I don't remember. Yeah, it's just Alien 3. Like, it was... Like, it wasn't like... I didn't oh, hate watching it or anything. It wasn't like a like a bad, bad movie. It just was like wasn't oh, as all good right. as the others. Turn 2 Bitter Blossom, Turn 3 Leovold is pretty decent. Turn four opposition. I actually didn't mind Prometheus. A lot of people didn't like. No, it. I like Prometheus. I, I like Prometheus a lot because I like the way they explore like the the origins of the Xenomorphs. Like I, that's that's super cool to me. Also, like it looks. Well, so it'll turn two Scarab God. That's a that's a sweetie boy. Man of Vault's a fair card. Well, I guess we can block it. Now they're gonna next take turn. Now they're gonna take a point, and we're gonna take a point. Yeah, I like Prometheus, and I also like the other one with, uh, what's his name? The dude that's amazing. Perfection. That guy, yes. <laughs> I can't think of his name, though. Michael. It's Michael, Michael, right? Michael Fassbender. Fassbender, yeah. Yeah, he's fantastic. And, like, that that movie's also good. My I just... Alien 4 Back in the Hood is where it really came <laughs> off the rails. <laughs> yeah. Top I... five sci-fi movies of all time, Go. Go is not a sci-fi movie. That's actually a, oh uh, God, an Asian hate... game. There's a comma, okay? Jeez. No, my bad. I'm sorry. I didn't want you to get... Why are you getting so worked up, man? I'm just trying to be friends with you. So, it's funny because, like... I, I really feel, like the Blade Runners. I feel like if we go opposition next turn and have three dudes, we can just tap everything down. Like, this actually... This opening is... Despite their opening being great, our opening also seems very, very good. The, I think Predator and Predator 2 were both completely were fun, enjoyable yeah. 80s movies. I also think... I don't... I don't remember if it was the most recent one or the one prior to the most recent one. I thought it was like, it was okay. Fuck, dude. Now I just want to watch. Now I just want to watch Alien movies. They're real good. I haven't seen the original in a long time. Are oh, they just swords, my Leovold? Hot time in the city. Two thousand one. Oh, I've actually never that's seen. Cool. I was I was gonna play this and and you know I w I thought we had a good board but then they just uh, actually. 
opposition. Yeah, that's, so that's, gonna, that's pretty that's bad. That's pretty cool, man. <clears throat> 2001. I've actually never seen 2001. 2001 is like... I want to see it just because I feel like it's a film you should see. I agree with you, but it's also like... Weird. It definitely drags. Aliens, great. Blade Runner, Star Wars, Fifth Element. I really like Fifth Element. Green Sun for three, huh? Oh, that's great. You know what we got for three, my dude? Alien vs. Predator. I don't know if those are good movies, but they're fun movies. Oh, but they can just get this guy back. Never mind. I feel stupid now. Stanley Kubrick films are more art than entertainment. Yeah, I could see that argument. I guess they have to waste their turn to do it, though. Arrival is great. I totally forgot that Scarab God has an ability. <laughs> Scarab God is just too good, man. It's very good. And it's, like our it's, colors just have trouble dealing with a, a black recursion creature. It's very good in the... Yeah, because we're not white. <laughs> it's very good in the vintage cube even. I, I just think this card is very strong. Happy birthday, Moochel. I ain't in that yet. Michael B lives in the sea. Alexa, where does Michael B live? Shit, I said B. She doesn't like that. Sorry, I don't see that. Gotti. Two thousand one is a good but very slow. I don't get the I don't get how someone could sit in a theater and watch it. Watching it at home where you can get up and move around sometimes improves the experience. How long is it? It's like three hours. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's a it's a Kubrick. <laughs> he never really makes short movies. Officially, it is two hours and 44 minutes. Pretty long. Michael Buble was born in... He is now located in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Says my Alexa Law. Oh, boy. That's something. So my wife made homemade potato buns and burgers for dinner tonight. That sounds great. Potato, potato buns are sweet. Potato I don't actually know the reason why they're called burger. potato buns. Is there, like, potato starch in them? Probably, Michael. I assume. No, they just look like potatoes. And now we can trade with their creature that comes back at the end of the turn. That's true. They have mashed potatoes in them. Okay. What? There's no way that's true. He just don't listen to him. That's a made up. That's some made up nonsense. Yeah, we could find out. <clears throat> I don't care though. He said no lie. So. Wow. Alexa, where does Michael live? He does live in the garbage can, that's true. Can they hear that on stream? Is that loud enough? Can you guys hear that? Alexa, volume 8? Alexa, where does Michael live? Michael B. lives in the garbage can. I definitely heard that one. Alexa, volume 4? I want to shock myself later. Hot Biscuit City. What a smoky Logie. I don't think we have any way into the, back into this game. There we do. Next time we're going to play Recurring Nightmare. Sacrifice our bit of Blossom to get back our Rex Sage. Any permanent? No, oh, the, the token, token oh, my dude. Yeah. My Alexa is screaming at me. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. I usually stuff my burgers with cheese, but I have to try the mashed potatoes. No, no, no. You don't put mashed potatoes in the burger. You put them in the bun recipe, like, to make the buns, not in the actual burger itself. That's di that's different. I wish I had one more mana here. <sighs> the problem is now they can get Pelucranos. This card is such a pain in the ass. Yeah, the whole game is warped around it. <sighs> when are we going to do another music request room? <coughs> That's a good question. Probably soon. Our options are to shriek mod, which 
Isn't that great? You think you can shrink them on this? Uh, it's black. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like, listen, because I mean, like, if we sack this to get Perlucanos back, then they literally reanimate our guy to bitter blossom to kill bitter blossom, which is pretty rough when we have opposition. Yeah. Jesus crying! I, I guess know. we just pass and eat six to the face. Yes, recurring nightmare is only at sorcery speed. I mean, yeah, the playing powerful dumb shit is the entire point of Vintage Cube, sure, but what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I'm not arguing with it. I'm just saying it's hard to deal with at this, this particular juncture. If only we had our opposition down already, we'd be in fine shape. Yeah, they had, they had, they had to have tied Hollow Sculler at that exact moment, and <sighs> Oko would be nice. I wish we had an Oko. Can you imagine if we just windmill slam Oko here? Yeah, I just don't feel like we can. The problem is, like, even if we block, like, or we, if we don't block, we take six, we go to five, then we go to four. Blocking seems real bad, though. I agree. Getting my Pelucranos back also seems bad, so I don't know what I don't know what our options are, you know. I think we just have to go to four and hope. I guess. Hope their two cards aren't super good. Oh, it's actually we, yeah. All right, I guess we don't we're even need cards, buddy. Yep, they get they just get our Paluki. Oh, well, they didn't attack first because maybe I block. At least they can't fight stuff with it. I mean, now I'm just tempted to block because I they can't get it back they this turn. Activate. It gives us a lot of extra turns. Six. Right, but, but like then it just becomes opposition. I feel is their only way into this game. But so next turn with you opposition, we can tap Polygranos and yeah, I think we just take it. Ugh, it sucks taking it though. We have so little turns. But I feel like opposition is our only way into this game. I don't. I think. I, I don't think we can actually, because like this guy's also going to deal us a point from the Scarab God. So it's like we take one from Scarab God, one from Bitter Blossom. Yes, yeah, so we go three, and yeah, it's pretty rough. That's oh, we can't even cast that, unfortunately. We can go master an assassin's trophy. Did we win? Not yet. What are we trophy though? I mean, I, I probably Pelucranos. Yeah, it buys us a lot more time. I think that's the play. Killing Strix is rough because I just don't want them to have another fly. I don't want to have the. I don't want them to have another creature in the graveyard. But also, I guess when this comes back, it's still a. I mean, it's still going to take them four. Trophy Scarab during the beginning of combat. <clears throat> so bad value to this trophy there, Scarab God, though. Right, but I don't care. We just need time, you know. Like, yeah, it's probably worth it. If you're at a higher life total, maybe. But <clears throat> at least they haven't seemed to have many cards that are relevant to, that they've drawn. Plus, eating two every turn is rough too. I really wish this was exile right now, but. <laughs> A black green spell exiles. That'd be pretty good. If 
we get another black or blue source, we can also play Recurring Nightmare next turn, but... Unfortunately, Shriek Maw is looking pretty bad right now. This is why I hate the the destroy a non non black non artifact creature in the cube because it just it there's it's so many outdated. like yeah there's just so many creatures that like, it's just a blank and it should be a versatile card. Yeah, okay, that's actually fine. It's fine for now. <clears throat> oh, good. What are your thoughts, Ease? I'm just gonna concede here. Like, we're not getting back in the game without opposition. And yeah, I, don't th like, I think once they take opposition, the game's just over. They're just going to keep taking our opposition, at, like, four times in a row, so. <clears throat> <sighs> no worries, just a scarab god, so. Yeah. Unless scarab god costs zero. That does not work. I mean, we could play Kayat. We could X, we could kill their scarab god. You mean the things it's trying to make? Yeah. No, we can kill the scarab god, and then before it gets returned to their hand, we can exile with Kaya. Oh. I mean, Wait, no, that doesn't work that way because she activates on your turn. Oh, right. you're on your we own We kill turn. it yeah, on yeah. our turn and then... <laughs> Is that worth it? Not really. Yeah, it had a lot to do with him playing out on turn two as well. Uh, Tristani would not return the tokens. They are not cards that I own. You know what? Sure. It's slow, but I don't think outside of, like, outside of the, uh... I wish we had an elf to go get. Or, like, a bird of paradise. Right, yeah. Uh, is there any two drops we can get with this? I don't think so, right? Green two drops? Um... I should have written down our deck. No, we'd have to do a one drop. I don't even know why I said two drop. We do have some two drops. I don't know if we have any green two drops. Well, Trigon Predator and Leovold are at three, yeah. Cool, cool. Villa, what's going on, buddy? Also, I, got, I hope you guys have noticed that my coughing has decreased a great deal. A great deal. <clears throat> they took our green sun zenith. The joke's on them, buddy. I don't even have any... Oh, that was that was nice. Sweet Michael Bees, what's he doing in those trees? Stupid Skuller give it a goat lozenge? What does that even mean? I don't understand. I do not understand the goat lozenge. <coughs> they didn't attack us. It seems like a free attack. We're not trading, right? Oh, they're going to... The only they... way to kill it. Yeah, Clicking sure. Okay. I mean, our hand's gas, so I'm not really too concerned. We also still get a token, so... Yep. You got it. So long, Scarab God. Yeah. We all know how strong that son of a bitch is. Well, you see, a goat lozenge is a lozenge made of used hot dogs, normally given a... What? Really? Is that a real thing? You want to draw... Let's draw a misty rainforest. That'd be pretty good. Shut up and take my money. One goat lozenge buck. <laughs> oh, look, we drew a forest instead, my dude. That's also good. It's not good. It's not. I mean, we do need six lands. It is not. I mean, we do need six lands, but I feel like we would have found them with the with the tracky boy. You know who Mike reminds me of? Kevin Malone from The Office. Wow. I'm sorry, man. That's rough. That is rough, dude. That's pretty insulting, I'll be honest. Oh, a little shrieky boy. You know what? I like to evoke and I cannot lie. 
Ska ba da ba 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 Here's a here's a worm fact. Worm facts for Frank from Luke on YouTube. Most worms are her hermaphroditic, so there's that. Bonus fact: they don't have hearts. They have five aortic ar arches, similar to thick arteries. Now you know your worms. Oh, they just anguished on making my guy. Let's draw that scarab god. We didn't. It was on the bottom. Look, the Misty Rainforest was the next card. It was the it was the next. You card. know what have been a better draw? Huh? A five drop. It's true. Like a uh, scarab god, probably. Mm, yeah that's pretty good i feel like i actually should have misty rainforest here to be honest with you because like, that would have actually um we could have gotten watery grave out of our deck and also <clears throat> it would have shuffled that scarab god back in honestly is there any character from that show that would wouldn't be an insult to be compared to uh jim hmm. um oscar um pam yeah, if we're talking about yeah, I mean like obviously I don't think anyone's gonna compare us to the female characters. Right, but I'm just saying. But general. I think Pam is a pretty normal uh, normal comparison. <sighs> yep, yep, yep. When we just Garuk and kill the Titan, right? Yeah, but then it just dies. What's our alternative? I don't know, man. Titan and hope they don't have removal. I mean, is it better to make two wolves with block, block? Or block, block? I think it's actually better to make two wolves here. And they're probably just going to force of will slash... Oh, no, it's wrong. Because, like, if you make two wolves, you can block one here, one here. So Garrus going to take four, but he's also going to gain two. So he goes back up to three. And then kill it next And turn. we get two off the board. But then we just have primal time to block this guy. I'm not super... I don't know. Like, I think we're already far behind, so, like, just doing one-for-one -one <coughs> trades and taking six and, like, I don't know if that's going to get us anywhere. Because I don't think they're actually attacking with this guy when we have two wolves, so we're probably just blocking here and here. Garrick takes two, we gain two back, stays at five. It just sucks letting them get more zombies out of it. You know what, Michael? It's part of, zombies are part of life, man. And death. They're part of life and death, Michael. I see them more as the pot of chili. Wow. Me and Mike me and Mike get to know each other in the pot. If you know what I mean. Michael, do you know what I mean? No. Okay. Also in that, that donut thing, I found out you can get maple bars. Well, yeah, you can get anything you want, man. Well, they don't really fit in the box, and I thought that maybe that would be different because they're like bigger donuts. So they wouldn't, you couldn't get those, but you can apparently. Yep, this is actually what we expected to happen, which is just fine. Oh, they're just coming at us? Hmm. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Yeah, that's weird. I guess they figure it's going to go up anyway, but then this just... Or they're just, just going to kill this. Oh, yeah, they, I guess if they remove it, doesn't matter. <clears throat> if they don't, though... Yeah. Random Liger fact. Ligers are a mix of lions and tigers. Bred for its skills in magic. So I don't know if that's a random Liger. Yeah, oh, wow. Oh, even better. And that's where I didn't want to play this game anymore. All right. That was... Again, I just felt like they had answered everything we ever did. That's my. That's pretty much been my experience with Vintage Cube the majority of this specific time. I don't know why like that every, is. Every match is like, if I can just untap with this one permanent, it fucking never like, happens. Nah, man, sorry. I don't think our deck might be too fair. But we didn't really get a chance to draft too many. Unfair right, like cards. the only I think the only unfair card we actually passed was Mind Twist. 
We didn't pass any <coughs> artifact mana. We didn't pass ancestral no, time no. walk, anything like that. Yeah, that's true. We didn't pass like Grim Monolith or Mana Mana Vault. Like it's not like we were passing good cards. Like that's my problem. Like sometimes you just don't open the unfair deck. So yeah, that's true. I'm not gonna like beat myself up for being like, I, it's not like I chose a more fair deck over an unfair deck that was presented to me. Yeah. Good luck. Have fun. You too like the band. Hew, 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 hew. Should I write that? <laughs> Can you imagine if I wrote that? They'd be like, wow, this guy is such cringe. An actual idiot. I guess we did pass Mana Drain, but Mana Drain would be pretty hard for us to cast. Right, but we took Primeval Titan. Like, I think that's also a strong card in the green deck. But also, double blue on turn two is not really like. Yeah, I don't. I think if we counted the number of times... Say this is what I'm talking about. I think if we ca Interesting. Here comes this discard Gristlebrand. Ready? Oh, just a basic island? I think if we count Maybe the number of times you have blue man on turn two, like, I feel like it's... It's not going to be often. Although you don't necessarily need it on turn two, but... You still want it on turn two. You still want it. This hand would be better with a bunch of mocks. Yeah. I mean, you know, funny thing, that's true about most hands, actually. I think this hand would be better with Black Lotus. I think this hand would be better with... Then we do turn two care scare both. So are they like a storm deck maybe? Only islands though so far. This is my trigon. It's gonna get mana drain. Do 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 do. You're gonna get three free mana. It resolved. I don't know what's happening. I'm just gonna bounce it. Ah, uh, there's one other step in the queue. Uh, you must draft multicolor card if able. If there are no multicolor cards, you can draft any card. Lands and power are exceptions. So now we got an interesting choice. Do we kill their Jace or do we kill their Mox? Uh, can I just invoke Shriek Maw? Invoke, evoke Shriek Maw? And kill the, kill the Jace? It doesn't work like that, my friend. Buddy! I think we kill the Jace. Yeah, Jace is going to draw them two more cards. This doesn't do that. Attack Balarin. Man, if only Trigon Predators whenever it dealt combat damage. Can you imagine, dude? So I guess we should pack rat. Well, now the, the alternative is not playing anything. So, we could shriek, ma. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. I guess uh, there's a factual statement. We can indeed shriek, ma. Delver, I hardly know her. Oh wow, that sounds like. I feel like this guy's a fan of mine. Who can it be? Believe it or not, it's Mike B. <laughs> you know that song? Well, that version's a little different. But no, you should definitely make that your ringtone. Believe it or not, um, what's how does it go? Dang it! Would you like to use this ability? God, yes. Put it in the garbage can. Yes, I would. I would like it very much. I like it a lot. I mean, if we're not gonna draw a land, drawing a four drop, not bad. No, well, they're gonna now they're gonna cryptic command this guy. So, oh, biscuits. Yeah, you dirty. And no pressure on us. So. <laughs> it's a good pick. Oh, man. Oh, well, now we got options. <coughs> Who can it be? I used to watch that show when I was a kid. God, Chris, your age is showing, my dude. Hey, it's breaking to what your mana is leaking all over the place. Well, you know what? That's what you guys... Oh, no. That's what, you, what is that, mustard finger? That looked like mustard fingers. Mustard fingers? Yeah, you know mustard fingers. Rings a bell, but... Come on, man. You know mustard fingers. <laughs> it's all mustard fingers. Oh, because his fingers are mustard. Look, look oh, at all yeah. mustard fingers. Gen X for life. God. It's it's really hard to tell Chris's age because he dates himself with his sitcom references, but then the hip lingo is just too much to bear. You don't have any creatures in here. I got a master. I don't want to get my Scarab God countered. The only thing we care least about is the elemental. So I really? I think Biogenic Ooze is worse than elemental. Really? Elemental can get pretty... I mean, Ooze can get pretty out of hand. So can this, right? I guess so. This like You have to invest four mana in every turn to make this more. To make more dudes. This guy's just making a free dude every turn. 
I guess that's true. I mean, alternatively, we could have just pitched a, a Shriek mod to the pack rat. Believe it or not, George isn't at home. <laughs> Please leave a message at the beep. I must be out. All right, pick up the phone. Where could I be? Believe it or not, I'm not home. That's a fantastic. God, I love it so much, man. <coughs> 43 actually isn't that old, so. Oh, they're not doing anything. I don't know what's going on right now. I feel like they're sandbagging some kind of monster threat. You know, you know, you know about the monster threat, Michael. Tomorrow, I'm living on the edge of 30. Jesus. Jesus. My friends are sold. Is there an Aether... What's that card? Aether Reservoir? The one that bounces all your creatures? What's that one called? Uh, Aetherize? That's one of them. Yes, that's the one. God, There's also Evacuation. He's so fucking smart. He's so fucking smart. There's a lot of those. He's so smart. It's like Conigra from this cube? It might be. I'm not sure. Oh, shit. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. That's, gonna, was. that's a, that's a feel-bad card if I ever saw one. Nobody it. truly knows how old Franklin is. He's That's because he's eight, he's timeless. I know the secret. Do I play anything? I don't think I play anything. There's literally no benefit to playing anything here. Just make Uzis. I can't. I need three green. Just make Uzis. Okay, I'll do it anyway. I'm sorry. Thank you. We can't expand. You guys know how this card works? It takes three green mana. I didn't know it was triple green. Dang. We have two green mana. Right, if they get Cyclonic get? Rift, I'm actually going to flip this table. <clears throat> well, he needs... Okay. Twister. Okay. Well, that's the thing, I guess. So, hopefully they don't have High Tide. No, they're just snapping Probably off the Twister. Just, they're just twisting. Let's twist again, like Mike did last summer. Yeah, no reason not to make her out of here. Yeah, we're just... This tan's going it's away. going back anyway, in the deck so. anyway. Making a rat, making a rat. Oh, so they have to deal with this, so. Break me off a piece of that ratty boy. Just make three green instead of two? You guys are really better at this game than I am, for sure. Bro, what? I need my bowl of skeddy. Yeah. I put Parmesan cheese on, right? Yeah. Then I mix it around. Uh huh. And, and you I put, put more Parmesan cheese on? Yeah. But it gets worse. Go on. Then, then after I had like two or three bites, uh -huh. put some more on. So basically when I ran out of layer of cheese, I would just put more on. This ain't okay, man. <laughs> oh, Cyclonic Rift is not in this cube. That's good to know. They still have seven mana, but like they're at five. Oh, people? No. Okay, all this shit's free. Are they going to brainstorm us? <laughs> well, they need high tide to go infinite. Or more lands. Well, I mean, they're still going to... Can we green sun for three? Yeah, for sure we can. Little man, be quiet. <coughs> we can double rat. <laughs> it's true. I mean, I'm pretty sure they, they only have one untapped creature, so like... Okay, I guess they're going to bounce my 4-4 four, four. Uzums. Yep, that's gone. Mm -hmm. So all I need to do is answer their creature and they die, right? Well, do we even have to do that? Like, if they block here, they take three, four, five, right? Oh, so you just make a rat and they die. I'll just make a rat and they die. Might as well go for the gusto. Also, this kills... Um, Treachery if we want. Yeah. I'm just hoping they don't have a bounce spell, I guess, but like... I mean, I'll make two rats. <laughs> Which would you choose? One full new season of Seinfeld or a new two-part office reunion special? <sighs> Based on quantity, I would definitely choose Seinfeld there. A whole new season of Seinfeld would be nuts. Plus, seasons of Seinfeld were like 20 episodes because it was just a... It was a basic cable sitcom, so... Modern Seinfeld? I'd be down for that. Would you? What is going on here? Just some Burger King. 
and so yeah you think so a quarter pounder is from burger king michael oh i meant to say mcdonald's it just came out burger king it came out burger kings michael tell me about your burger king they had a blocker so now they get to eat my trigon predator Frank, what did you choose one for? Oh, you're right. Or, or my neighbor's kidney? I think I'd still go with Seinfeld. Oh, wow, they're just snapped. No, I mean, kidneys go for a lot in the black market. Oh, this is actually decent because now we get to get our get our guy back. Yeah, they do, but I can't make an episode, a new season of Seinfeld with that money. You know what I mean? Yeah, they don't go for that much. Right, like Larry Dave's not going to give a shit about no $10,000 kidney money, man. Okay, so... Do you have some black market organ connections, Mutual? Not currently, but I bet I could get one. I got the internet. You can't. I know about the deep web. You don't. And the dark web. The deep and the dark? There's a difference. The deep and the dark? Is there really? Mm-hmm. What's the difference? I forget which way it is, but one's, like, more more uh, out there than the other. Oh, let's go get Leovold, and we'll play Bitter Blossom. How about that? Because that, that shuts off this Jace for the most part. And it's a bitter blow, Sam. All right, we're doing it. What if you gave the kidney directly to Larry David? I bet he would like owning a kidney. I don't think he needs it. Kerwood is feasting and so are Dan's and Elkter's. It's true. It's true. In our group chat, Kerwood sent Dan's and Elkter's food. So that's what they, they sent pictures of that. Oh, yes. Oh, dang. That's fine. I mean. Mm, draw a card. Yeah. And then Kurt picture, posted pictures of his own food, which was just quarter pounders of cheese. But you know, for all the hate McDonald's get, they're not that bad. Well, it's hard to be that bad with McDonald's because it's like, they've just, like, they got a formula. you know exactly what you're getting. Right, exactly. Like, oh, leave a message at the beep. They have one card in hand. Hmm. Well, that's a dude. Can we kill him yet? I mean, we can definitely try. They have to block here, so. I guess we'll just attack with the, with the Uzi boy. Low Uzi vert. Yeah, it's definitely still Leovold. We're going we're gonna to Tyler's Tracker land Leovold. And then next turn we'll have seven so we can go Avenger land, which also triggers Tyler's Tracker. You want to put a Trample Titan on the board that forces them to bounce? I mean, they're going to bounce anyway, right? I guess so. There's no other mode with Leovold <coughs> that they'd actually probably probably choose to do. Oh, are they going to bounce their own Palancron? What a... M oh. What happened? Oh, they just blocked them? Why didn't they return it to their hand? Don't know. I'm fascinated. Blue, green, and black. Also, the nice thing about playing against the Mono Blue deck is that you don't have to worry about, like sweepers I lurk here sometimes bro you're <coughs> you're here regularly the F6 that's why maybe they did oh they said oops yeah I was wondering about that F6 is a hell of a drug F6 is definitely a hell of a drug where you're like oh damn you I took addicted to the I time. took too much F6 <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't know what they could draw they have one card, so there's no way they're combo killing us. Combo killing <laughs> us. Also, because like their time spiral is exiled already, their treachery and palancron are gone. You don't know what their deck really does. It just seems like a bunch of blue dirtily stuff. A lunch of blue dirtily stuff? I said bunch. Did you did you happen to see the rumor going around that Keanu Reeves is considering the role of Ghost Rider? No, because I want fucking Keanu Reeves to play Mark Spector. I really don't want him to play stupid fucking Ghost Rider. I don't care about Ghost Rider. Who's Mark Spector? Mark Spector is Moon Knight. Oh, that'd be rad. I'm an alpha here. We're going to see what happens. Oh, they're going to Cryptic Command. That's our last card. Oh, they're going to Turnabout. Same idea. Well, they targeted us. So, I'll use Leovaldo's. Leovaldo. You know Leovaldo? I feel like I don't care about Ghost Rider, but I feel like it has to do with how bad the Nick Cage movie was. I just don't think he's a very interesting character, I guess. 
Maybe that's just... All right, we're going to go Avenger here. What's his, what's his deal? How did you become a Hellface? A Hellface? <laughs> Hey man, how'd you get your hell face? Um, I thought it was a deal with the devil. I, thought, I, I just thought you might know because it's like Marvel stuff. It's just never been like there's an there's like a. I just don't care for the design. It's just like I'm the fire guy. Like, who cares? No, Ryan from the Office was fire guy because he set the office on fire. He's, also, is Constantine Marvel? Yeah. Uh, no, Constantine is DC. Okay. Well, Vertigo technically. Well, that's that's owned by subsidiary of yeah. DC, right? Too bad these aren't oozes, huh? I just like saying negatory ghost rabbit. <laughs> Katie, you can say that all you want. He was trying to make a cheesy pita. Wow. That's that's what Ryan did, yeah. Yo, if Moon Knight and Spider-Man are in the same movie, I'm all in. Yeah, same, dude. Well, then the good things about these Kevin models Reeves is, and Tom Holland is dude. once... As once they become part of the universe, once then you're in, you're in, yeah, exactly, movies, right? and they don't give a fuck about crossing over, man. That's my favorite part of the MCU right now. Is that like everything? Everything goes like crossovers are just ripe for the picking. I asked my six year old what his five superpowers would be. With no hesitation, earth, fire, wind, water, and ice. Nice. <laughs> what about heart? You forgot about heart. That's messed up, man. What is this, Storm Count 2? Okay. God, what if this is it? What if this is our death? Mm, Storm Count's only two. Memory Jar? Mm, that gives them some more draws. Oh, boy. And an island. All right. They can play that island. They just have... They, what do the draws do? They have one land untapped. Oh, all right. Maybe if they had a high tide? But they don't. You got it. All right. Brain freeze us for five. They should have Keanu Reeves play John Wick in the MCU. Wow. Wouldn't hate it. Is this a brain freeze for five? Are we really high tide? Are they seriously going to brain freeze us for six? This is disgusting. I can't believe this is really happening right now. Are they going to get there? They literally get there off the memory jar. Well, that gets on top of their deck. Have they drawn with Jace yet? Yeah. That's why he's at two. What about the other one? Yeah, they use this to bounce Leobold. Oh my god. Cool. <sighs> Got any other drowsies? Nope. <coughs> Super fucking annoying. Yep, also this fucking zoom in is really annoying too. Can't actually, can't do anything. Look, look, mod no hands, zooming in. Look, just zooming on in. Cool program. Nice update. Fantastic. Make your program worse with your updates. Seems good. Now I can't actually zoom. Oh, there we go. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, their minds desire had to draw seven for that to work. So, like, I don't think we were mocking the minds desire. I think we were actually just saying that, oh, it's only for two. I, I don't. So it should probably. We thought it, it doesn't really seem the same as mocking, but I guess. I guess if you, I guess if you speak ill of anything, you're mocking it. So. Just play a seventy card deck. Got him. You were engaging in mind shaming. It's true. This is my 44 card deck. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. I'm just so like off it after that. Like. They had to get so lucky like every turn. To be able to like deal with all our creatures. And like. Which Marvel character do you identify the most with? Um, so I actually submitted an application to Marvel Comics a while back. I didn't get the job, unfortunately. 
but uh one of the questions was like which which superhero i think do you identify with the most i think it, and my answer was spider-man The opponent's name is Delver. I hardly know her. Man, these these two mana charter courses. These just. Which one am I? I have no idea who you identify <laughs> with. Oh, is your Aunt Marissa Tomei? Yeah. Yep, this is going well. Man, that, that my cousin Vinny quote. Oh, good. Here comes High Tide. Come on, we all know you're getting high tide. Unless... I don't remember disliking Lord of War, but it's been a long oh, time since I've seen huh? it. Okay. Okay, that was decent. <laughs> Is it possible to make a good Superman movie? I actually enjoyed Man of War. Or Man of War, Man of Steel. Man of War. <laughs> the I, band I, thought, or... I thought Man of... Yeah, the band. Yeah, the metal band. I actually enjoyed Man of Steel. I didn't think Man of Steel was that bad. It was all right. I mean, I think it's more of an issue with DC making movies, not Superman as a character. I think Superman as a character is really deep. I think, think people underestimate him because he's like, oh, is he, look how strong he is. You can't really beat... Oh, wow, they're gonna... I think people say that who haven't actually ever read any Superman. Right. So There's, there's definitely like, very interesting Superman comics. Oh, he's very there. strong, so you know, that's all there is to it. Oh, now they're going to go frantic search. You ready? It's, it's, it's so comical, too, because like the DC animated movies are so good. Like and I don't know why they Tudor can't response. just copy that, basically. Oh, they didn't miss the response. Force of negation and force of will. Wow. One two guys, let's hope for the one two. Again, I don't know how it would be possible but if they could just put the guys who make the animation movies and as into the writing. Yeah, I feel like we've said this a bunch of times actually. Just... I mean, maybe they don't think about that because they're not like as successful because they're animated movies, but like their storylines are great. Well, a lot of the, what the animated ones? Yeah. Well, a lot of the animated ones are from comics. Sure, but some of them are. Not all of them are. Some, some of them are. <laughs> and a lot of times they're like they're like based on a storyline, but they put their own like twists on it and stuff. Oh, do they put their own little twists on it, Michael? Yeah. Oh, wow. Also, again, what's wrong with <laughs> just ripping from the comic books? I'm just, I have no desire to play this fucking game anymore when you have high tide for three. We haven't won a game yet. It's kind of... I mean, like, it's... It's really, like, I'm, I get torn between, like, feeling fucking annoyed at this... Like, I'm like, why haven't we won a game? But at the same time, like, our, fir our first round opponent goes to turn one Scarab God. Or turn two Scarab God, rather. Uh, which we just can't beat whatsoever. And then our second round opponent goes, mines a desire for two, hits memory jar, and then proceeds to, like, have exactly what he needs to brain freeze us for enough. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm really torn between, like, feeling bad about these losses, but then, like, at the same time... <coughs> yeah, I don't know what you could have done. Kind of being more understanding of the fact that, like, well, it's just shit luck and it happens, you know? Like... DC's problem from the beginning was it was obvious they were rushing everything out to catch up to, with Marvel. Right, yeah, and it's, it was true. terrible. Like, it was terribly done. They're like, here's one Batman movie. Here's one Superman movie. Here's Justice League with seven characters. Meanwhile, Marvel's like, here's a movie for every single character in this movie so you know that. Yeah, it was a slow build. Right, Marvel put 12 years in. DC's like, let's get it all out in three. Right. And you're like, what? But why? We do get a Martian Manhunter movie. That's great if it's good, but like... At least it when. Oh, when. I would love a Martian Manhunter movie. 
I think a Martian Manor movie could be really good if you did it like in a noir style. <coughs> also, I think that's a great character. It's because it is a great character. Austin Floyd, thank you so much for the Risa, buddy. Really, don't let the bad breaks get you down. I'm trying not to, buddy. I'm trying not to. Birds of Prey is terrible. Haven't seen it. Can't say. But I wouldn't doubt it. I don't, like, it's funny because they're, like, taking all these edgy characters that are usually, like, really, like, the popular the popular DC characters. <coughs> like, Harley Quinn. And they're just like, let's just bank on Harley Quinn being, like, a super marketable property because everyone loves Harley Quinn. Jason Momoa worked at Miracle's Aquaman. I think he played a good Aquaman, but I don't think the Aquaman movie that was that great. It wasn't, like, bad, but it wasn't great either. It's just kind of meh. Also, the story mode for the game Injustice 2 was better cinematic experience than any of the live-action movies. Oh, yeah. I love Injustice. Injustice. Was great. That storyline was great. That game was sick. Yeah, there's a lot of replayability for Injustice. This is a decent hand. I mean, I don't know what you'd take here. Probably Ophiomancer. Because this, this leaves me with very bad plays for the next turn. Doesn't DC already have a noir movie with Constantine? Uh, if you're talking about like the live action Constantine movie, I don't know if I count that as noir. And even if you do, like that was a while ago. Look, they took Ophiel Mancer. I'm just gonna play this guy. Joker was good, but Joker's not really set in the DC universe. Right. Like, it's not, it feels like it's not a DC Joker's movie. Just a character it feels piece. like right. Exactly. Exactly. It like just feels like gonna, it is. You're never going to see that joke. What did you just do? I dropped my phone. God, he drops his phone all the time. What's your mother going to think when she tries to get a hold of you? And she's like, Michael, how come you didn't answer my, my fel- telephone call? And you're like, because my phone is on the ground, Mom. <laughs> like, what is she going to think? Aquaman looks terrible because Jason Momal. Okay, A, Jason Momoa looks nothing like Arthur Curry. So, like, right off the bat, you're losing me there. I don't I think you can give that up, though. Like, that's that, I think that's fine. That shit bothers me, though. Like, it's just not necessary. And, like, B, they made him, like, almost sound like a surfer bro in the whole movie. And I was just like, but why? Yeah, I think I'd agree with that. <laughs> Did you actually see the whole movie? No, I didn't even watch part of it. I just saw, like, <laughs> trailers and, like, reviews and stuff. I actually sat through it. Oh, good. A buried alive. Well, I guess we're dead again. It was just a very middle-of-the-road blah movie. Like, I wouldn't say it was bad, but it wasn't great either. Cool. Good draw. Good draw. Jason Mamau. Michael B. What's the little man say? Jason Mamau. And let me guess you have a two or three mana reanimate spell that you're going to cast right oh, now. Oh, for sure. Thank you. Reverse. Thank you so much for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, Emrakul, Ulamog, Gristlebrand. Wish I held that land now. So they have living under How something? silly of me. Let's get Ophiomancer back. The biggest thing I have against the DC movies is that I feel like they really go low budget on the CGI. CGI. Yeah, I kind of thought it too. Like, the CGI didn't look that great. Cool. Okay, they have no cards in hand. Can we actually win a game? No, man. Here they go. Top deck. Top deck. Reanimate. Yep. <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. The one chance we had. I mean, uh, ideally they get anything but Gristle Brand here, right? Like, they're gonna give you Gristle Brand. They have no cards in hand. Also, Gristle Brand's always the target. Well, so be it. Yeah, and the problem with Gristle Brand, even if you answer it, they get to draw like seven to fourteen cards. Draw fourteen, I'll kill you. Refill your shit hand. There's no way you don't have another reanimate spell now. But they forget. They didn't forget. Forget what? To draw? Yeah. They already did.
I guess they can't cast reanimate, and casting exhum is not that great. So I'm sure they'll have living death. Here comes living death. <laughs> Here we go. I'm waiting. Living death. I mean, animate death is fine because we can. Yeah, I guess they can't actually cast reanimate because they die. But yeah, I guess we can't. Uh. <laughs> recurring nightmare again I mean if they don't have a reanimation spell and we get to play Scarab God that's pretty good oh boy <laughs> Michael Biscuits that's his name living death if you create a crossover movie putting any DC hero into any video game world, why would it be Hawkman in Mavis Mavis Bacon's teaching typing? <laughs> you mean Mavis Beacon, Michael? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. What's a Mavis Bacon? <laughs> that's uh, that's the breakfast sandwich I made the other day. You ever tried the Mavis Bacon? Oh, what up, Dennis? How goes the quarantine? It's all right. I did feel uh, this evening. I haven't felt an earthquake tonight. Oh, good. Liliana, who just snatched. Why did, why did it take you so fucking long to play Liliana? Holy crap. It took you three minutes to play Liliana? I don't understand. Well, they have two reanimation spells, so they're like, how can I... Oh, they had to decide? Yeah. Sure, sure. <coughs> Give me that wolf. There's a 6.5 earthquake, earthquake in Idaho. Well, we're a little far from Idaho. Well, Dennis said he felt it, and he's in, around here. Oh. So, like, where? how did we not feel it? That's weird, dude. Soon it will be Michael B. Michael Biscuits. <coughs> it's his biscuits. Eating triscuits all day. <coughs> what if we attack with this guy? Yes, yeah, Spider-Man is very strong. <laughs> Spider-Man is very strong. I guess we just go Scarab God. <coughs> Let's just stop it. I can't deal with you when you act like this. Kitty Cat's playing with his kitty cat toy. Who makes better movies, Sony or DC? I mean, Spider-Man movies have been great, so I think Sony, not close. However, Venom was absolute garbage. Venom wasn't great. It's pretty rough. Also, the Fantastic Four movies are pretty bad. Shut up and take my money! Oh. Mavis Bacon, one dollar. Uh, today on Mavis Bacon teaches, teaches Touch Bacon, we will increase your bacon speed to 120 strips per minute. I'm tired. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> it goes way too fast. Hold on, hold on. We'll get there. I'm going to read old Mavis Bacon. I feel like they're digging. Because now I get their big fat daddy out. Yeah, they actually can't attack a Ulamog here. Or unless they put up more blockers. They're at four. Put up more. I mean, they got like eight cards in hand or some bullshit. When I refer to the Spider-Man movies, I mean the recent ones. I'm tired. This joke really isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Dang it, Mavis Bacon. I believed in you. Fantastic Four was Fox. Oh, my bad. Yeah, oh God. Fantastic Four. I can't wait for a good one. Okay. Dark Petition. Another reanimate. This is where they just get living death. We do need a Doctor Doom, like a good Doctor good Doom. Sure. I don't, does that do anything? They're getting Iona? I guess. With 
corpse things? Why wouldn't they just get Gristle Brand and gain seven here? Well, you can't choose. Oh, right. My bad. I guess they deal a seven, which is fine. What? Alright, we can't play green cards. Yeah, that was a weird decision. I mean, maybe it's all they could do. <coughs> Doesn't do anything, though. <laughs> I guess not, yeah. It just deals a seven, which is super relevant. Say super relevant? Yeah. Relevant the elephant. So, let that dude exile. Soon it will be, Michael B. This is the same game they mind twisted our whole hand. <laughs> yes. My name's Michael. Michael Biscuits. You mind twisted my whole hand. It did nothing and I still crushed you today. Mm, I don't know if it's crushed. What? I thought Shazam was fun, never saw it. I think Shazam was fun, but it also didn't feel like it fit anywhere in the DC universe. And my biggest problem with Shazam was that Billy Batson was completely miserable and hard to deal with. While Shazam was actually kind of fun. Like, I just... Why did they concede? Because they were dead. I tried to skip past you losing the game to the next game, but then I remembered I'm watching live. Wow. God we didn't dang. even lose the game. I know he was already cast in the Doctor Strange movie, but I always thought Mad <coughs> Mickelson would be a great Doctor Doom. Mads Mickelson? Yeah. I also agree with that. Yeah, we had a list of who would be good for Doctor Doom, and Mads was definitely at the top of my list. I'm taking this streak I mean, up. he's just so great for a villain. He really is. And he's got a good Doctor Doom voice, too. Yeah, he's definitely a very intimidating character. Like, like my dad. Yeah, like your dad. I don't really know your dad that much. I don't know if he's really intimidating or not. Like my dad. Where's the green mana? I don't think Christopher Waltz is menacing enough. I don't remember who that is. Are you serious right now? I'm just gonna look it up. Shut up. Cool. Yeah. Oh, Waltz. Gotcha. <laughs> It just says walls. There's no T. So I was like, who's Christopher Walls? Hmm. He didn't know. He fucking lied. <laughs> I want a good Daredevil movie. It's the Daredevil series. It's the yeah. greatest Daredevil movie ever made. Yeah, you have, a, you have 30 hours of Daredevil movie on Netflix if you're interested. It's, if you haven't actually seen it, it's insanely good. It's like probably one of my favorite Netflix shows. Yeah, it's, shows it's very general. good. <clears throat> all the way up until season three. Oh, that's a really good against this. You mean where they stop making it? <laughs> yeah, all the way up till season three, where they're like, you know what, we're not going to do this really successful show anymore. It's real sad. Yeah, like if they made a, a like a Marvel show, like a Marvel Moon Knight. Sh Wait, oh, I was like, why can't I get the? <coughs> I'm just gonna get Forest here because we already have everything else. Um, if they made a Moon Knight show on like Marvel on Disney Plus instead of a movie, a Moon Knight show instead of a movie, I would definitely just be like, "That's fine. <laughs> That's just fine." Oh no, they're gonna. Come
kill this guy. <laughs> oh, God. Did you hear me? That show didn't even make a billion dollars, Frank. That's not successful. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what, Kerwin? Neither did I, buddy. Neither did I. This is where they go land, thirst for knowledge, discard two fat. Oh, they didn't do anything. Betty White as the juggernaut. I can see it. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> Was that your impression of Betty White? It wasn't a good one. I don't I don't actually know. I, I can't do Betty White's voice. Come on. You're not, you're not, you don't just have that one line in the bag? I don't. It's too bad, man. Is it? No, not really. Yeah, I feel like it's not my biggest loss. Yeah, come on, play your your thirst for no ledge. This new moderator view is intense. What does that mean? What is that? What's moderator view? What's happening? <coughs> I don't even know what that means, Christopher. This jacket, this is just my, this is literally my fallout hoodie, dude. I don't know how many, this is just my fallout hoodie. It's my brotherhood of steel hoodie. Can I just steal this? Because I'm going to. I don't know what bogey means. Bougie, oh, Michael. Bougie. Yeah. That thing's bogey. <laughs> oh man, that shit is bogey. Can I have this? Oh, that's cool. Thanks, bro. I have not seen the show, Hannibal. For oh, no one particular more? reason, though. Hannibal? Is it a... Oh, it's... Dang it, that's Mads Mikkelsen and not Hannibal Burris. I was like, oh, shit, oh. a Hannibal Burris show? <laughs> oh. I can see how that could be confusing. That's not cool, dude. <laughs> You're being rude. Let's play this guy. I'll just make a beast. Oh, I actually could have, I actually should have plus and then made another, another ooze. That would have just been a significantly better play in every metric. Yeah, Soul Honky is right. Dang it. Frank, do you like the Eric Andre show? Does anyone really like the Eric Andre show or do you like to experience I appre I was just going to say, I appreciate experiencing the Eric Andre show. Oh, wow. Did they just Toxic Deluge for 13? That's a lot. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. It's either that or take 13, I God guess. God damn. So. I guess he's taking it either way, right? So, I didn't watch your stupid Emrakul anyway. Yeah, now I really regret not having a... I should just play the stage here. So I can kill him next turn, maybe. Yeah, until they go animate dead. And then what do we do, Michael? Mm, no, I, don't think point, I think point. I'd rather give them one more turn than have to deal with, like, necromancy. <coughs> Mavis Bagel? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I appreciate watching the Arc Andre show. It's cr It's wild. Dude, it's an experience for sure. How many seasons we watched? Like three of the seasons or something like that? God, I don't even know, dude. Wow. Oh, wow. There's a lot of... Chris, that is wild, dude. That's a lot of... Th Look, this is exactly why I keep this stupid Reclamation Sage in hand. Well, they can't draw with Crystal Brand. Yeah, that's actually true. See, look, you would have had me play this, and then we would have been like, I guess we die. God, I'm going to die. We're at 19. I don't want to take a hit. Oh, wow. First one's free. That's racist. What? How? Yeah. Think about it. No, explain it to me. Don't just, just say think about it because you don't have an answer. It. Oh, shit. I should have untapped first. They're going to mana leak this. I'm going to feel so bad. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Magic's hard. I mean, even if they did mana leak, they can't really attack, right? I still don't want them to do it. Don't. I still don't like it. Don't say you're not going to do it. They go to one here. One, two. I'm satisfied with our one, two here. Have you ever seen Hannibal Burris Morpheus rap? No. Who hasn't seen? Who hasn't been there? Are you referring to like an Eric Andre skit? Probably. No, it's I don't know. New Tim and Eric show called Beef House just premiered. Oh God, Jesus Christ! Are we drafting it? Oh yeah, for sure. I probably will not. Be Michael's there. like, I'm probably gonna do two more with you, and then I gotta get some sleep. And I was like, two All more? right, cool, man. Wow. Hey, man. I'm just call him like I see him, bro. Michael's like, it's the last day of Vintage Cube, so I just want to get as many as I can. I was like, all right, cool. Um, <laughs> oh, Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash patreon.com slash, slash coolstuffinc.com slash uh, manatraders.com. All the links and promo codes are in the description below. Be sure you use them. Use those links and promo codes. Um, 
What's uh? I forgot your stinking username, and you're not even in the. Are you even here anymore, Muffin? Muffin. Muffin of Doom. Thank you so much for the for the stipulation, man. Really appreciate it. Unfortunately, we did not get nearly as many tokens in play, <laughs> but we did win a single match. No, that that well, that match we won with a wolf token, and we won with a Garrick token. So I'm fine with that, dude. I, 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 it's stipulations are hard. I think stipulations are harder in vintage cube because like you're doing so much broken stuff and like a lot of stipulations don't allow you, like they deter you from doing the broken stuff. Right. I don't think this one really, we just didn't get any. That's what I was going to say. I'm like, there was, there wasn't even that we were deterred this one. Um, I think your deck was fine. It was just fair. Right. I think we just, we we just played against three decks. They're like trying to. Yeah. I mean, also if we could get our scarab got online, I think it would have been fine, but we just couldn't get it on turn two because that's really good. And uh, then they happened. I think if they didn't get Scarab on turn two, and also the other opponent didn't get Brainstorm off of their memory jar, their memory jar off their mind's desire, I think we would have been okay. But um, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.